All right, what we're gonna look at today is a fun chord progression uh, to play and getting used to these chords as well as um, a great songwriting tool. Um, a lot of people use these songs in a lot of different ways. Um, Green Day uh, does uh, their song, Good Riddance. <laughs> Um, there's songs you may recognize some, some sound something like this Anyway, so um, let's get right into it what, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna study some some of the chords that you can use in different ways uh, to um, Embellish your playing and or write songs. This is a great chord progression to write songs to so what we're gonna start with We're gonna start with our D chord if you don't know your D chord, then watch our, uh, our major chords. What we're going to do with this D chord is we're going to take our, our pinky finger and we're going to make a D suspended four. And we do that by putting our pinky finger right below the third finger here on string one, fret three. So it's going to be a tight fit. You got to get that in there, okay? So now we're going to make a D two chord by lifting both those fingers up. And now your E string is going to be open. Okay, your first string. So, D, D suspended four, D two with the open string and then back to D. Okay, now the next chord we're gonna use in this progression is a C2 chord. This is a great chord, it's a beautiful chord. And so what you're gonna do, when you go from the D to the C2, leave your third finger there. Our third finger is not gonna move throughout this whole chord progression uh, um, uh, right now. So. Watch this, we're gonna take these two fingers, fingers one and two, and we're gonna put them like this, like as if it was the root note of a regular C chord. We're gonna put our first finger on string four, fret two, and we're gonna take our uh, third finger and put it on string uh, five, fret three. And it sounds like this. Okay, so now, um, what happened there is my thumb hit the uh, first opening string. So always check yourself on that, you know, make sure. Make, make sure it, it sounds clear. And then you're gonna just take these two fingers and you're gonna move them this way. And that's your G6 chord. So let's review those chords. D, D suspended four, D2, and then back to D. Then you got a C2 chord and a G6 chord. Okay, so let's let's look at a, a basic strum for this one. We're going to use a down, down, up, up, down, up pattern, and the count is one, two, and and four and. So just I'll show you real slowly. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, and once again that count is one, two, and and four and one. Okay, and we're gonna play each of these chords for two measures. And it'll sound like this. So um, that's what we're shooting for. So let's go ahead, um, let's jump into it. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna first, I'm gonna play it really slow. I'm gonna give you a count. About this speed right here. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. resolve on your D. So, great, great chord progression. Um, have fun with it. Write some songs around it. Make up some lyrics and have fun. Um, just a reminder, the D chord and the D4 and the D2 are four strings. The C2 is five strings. And the G6 chord is six strings. 
Yeah. All right, so there you go. There's a great D pattern and songwriting tool to use. Have fun with it and uh, practice, practice, practice. Subscribe to our videos, new videos every week. Have a great day.